Good evening. I'm Mark McConnell. And I'm Dot. And this is Channel 5 Action News. Our top story tonight, Rick's dad has been reported missing. The jovial father figure was last seen leaving his house at approximately 7.13 this morning. He has not been seen or heard of since, although he apparently phoned home at approximately 12.33. We now go live to Rick. Rick, can you hear me? Yep, loud and clear. Okay, Rick, do you have any idea where your father is? I assume he's probably at work. Okay, now is it true that he called? Yes, yes, this is true. Do you leave any indication whatsoever as to where he was? No, Barty didn't. Well, if he didn't tell you where he was, could you, could you elaborate a little bit about what you talked about doing that call? Well, he did ask me who played guitar for the Yardbirds. And what was your reply? I simply said, uh, Jimmy Page. Well, what about Jeff Beck? Well, he played when Jimmy left, but Jeff Beck, he was the guy that made that video with the uh, short guy from... Herve uh, Hervé <coughs> Belichet. Yeah, that's him. Right. Okay, well, if you, if your dad isn't at work, do you have any idea you know, where he could be? Well, personally, I always liked Paige better. You know, I, I, his solo stuff was unreal. He's so charismatic. But Rick, what about and your dad? He's got that hair thing going. What about your dad? He, he likes Steely Dan. He, you know, he's, he's kind of strange that way. He likes old Chicago, no, stuff like that. No, but he's missing. Yeah, I know. He's kind of missing the point. He thinks Clapton's overrated and... He hates the dead. He thinks they're just. They're All right. Just well, we'll be back like with Rick later to continue our coverage on this on this grave situation. Kind of weird. Too. Dot. Well, apparently Rick's dad isn't the only one missing. Vice President Dan Quayle is nowhere to be found. No one is quite sure how long he has been gone. Some say two weeks. Others say he just went to the bat. Wait. We have a late-breaking announcement. Dan Quayle has been found to be locked in his car. Let's go to the scene. Humphrey Longfellow, are you there? Thank you, Dot. As she has just said, Mr. the Vice President is in the car behind me, locked in for the last two days. He was on his way home from a game of bowling, which he did actually happen to lose. Now, Mr. Vice President, what do you feel your predicament? Thank you very much, Mr. Vice President. As I understand it, Mr. Bush is setting up a crisis management team to deal with the situation. I hope that they will be able to get, get him out. Back to you, Doug. Thank you very much, Humphrey. I'm glad everything worked out. How's everything in the world of sports, Mitch? Oh, just fine, Doug. Hi, I'm Mitch, and in sports today. Besides what happened in hockey, basketball, or football, which nobody wants to hear about anymore anyway, uh, the World Horseshoe Championships took, championships took place in Little Rock, Arkansas. The champion was, was Steve Kimmelspach, the hometown favorite who won in a tough final match. Uh, in another championship going on this week, the team of Mustafa Muhammad, Akhmir Ahmed Haji, and Rahim Raji Jaffer were victorious in the finals of the World Underwater Saudi Arabian Tag Team Octopus Wrestling Championship. Well, that just about does it in sports today. Back to you. Traffic, we go to Flip Weasel aboard Skyhawk. This is Flip Weasel aboard Skyhawk. Below me, there seems to be an accident on Yellow Squonkum Road. Uh, I think we'll get an aerial view of that as soon as we can. Okay, here we go. Aerial view. Okay, as you can see, it was a devastating accident. The car is still spinning. I don't know if everyone's okay. We're going to go to our man on the street right now, me. I am on the scene, Flip Weasel. It was right about here that the accident did take place. The wreckage has been cleared, but we're expecting rubbernecking delays for quite some time. It looks to me, here comes one of the people involved in the accident. It looks like Zippo the Clown. Zippo, Zippo, what happened? Tell us, tell us. It was absolutely I just, incredible. I just... I just <coughs> And then I just, and she comes out of the, out of nowhere like I'm, and then I just, I. Zippo, Zippo, calm down. Go get yourself a cup of coffee. We'll be right back, folks. We'll try again later. All right, okay, we're back. Zippo, Zippo, you appear to be a little calmer now. You had a nice cup of coffee. It's about an hour and a half later. 
tell us about what happened. I'm, we're standing here. There's a, there was a dead nun in the other car. It wasn't very good. You seem to be unharmed. What happened? Well, I'd just like to leave a message for little Peter. I was on my way to his birthday party. Looks like I'm not going to be there. Looks like little Peter and all his friends will be waiting in the window for Zippo the Clown to get there. Zippo's not going to get there because this fat penguin Zippo, this is just terrible. Enough, enough. It's all right. It's okay. This is Flip Weasel coming to you live. We now go straight to the weather, dude. Hello. I'm here with Channel 5 Action News with the weather for today. And we will discuss first the temperature. How's the temperature out there? Temperature? Temperature. Get on it. Pretty cold. Okay, that's the temperature for today. It's pretty cold. Next, we will discuss the humidity. What's the humidity like out there? Humidity? Yes, humidity. Pretty humid. Okay, there's the humidity for today. It's pretty humid. What's the cloudiness situation like? Cloudiness? Yep. Cloudy. Okay, it's pretty cloudy. And the last topic for today, what's the wind speed like? Wind speed? <laughs> Appears to be pretty windy. Appears to be pretty windy. So there you have the forecast for today. Looks like a pretty day. You just have to live with it. Okay, for the five day forecast. Boom, weatherman. Boom, weatherman. Hello. Okay, the uh, five day forecast will be sunny. Monday, Tuesday, clouds moving in Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and I don't know, you get back to one on that. I, I told you not to call me here. Come on. <clears throat> Hi, this is Madeline Moon, and yes, it's that time again. The position of the stars tells me that, that it's precisely 6.30, and that means I'll be here with you right now for a few minutes, predicting the outcome to your future, and I would just love to be a part of it. Now, relying on my senses, I I'm getting something, um, yeah, uh, my senses are telling me that, that in the year 2000, the Homedale High School football team will win their first football game in over 10 years. Unfortunately, it will be due to forfeit, but what can you expect? One more? Okay. Uh, now, I know, folks, that this is going to sound really incredible, but there will come a day when Mr. Mangan, well, he'll run out of stories to tell, and that Dr. Carver will have a complete nervous breakdown in class. Well, remember, you hit it here first. What? Do we still have time left? I know. We'll take a few calls. If you have any questions, comments, or a few just to be analyzed, just, just give me a ring. The, the number to dial is 1-800-I'm-a-Dork. Well, the, the calls are the, the really pouring in. 
guys, great audience, great. Um, well, just be patient, folks. If you can't get through it first, keep dialing. Busy signals mean nothing. Here's the phone. Five dollars the first person through. Ten. We have a call. I'll take it. Hello. Why'd you hear from me, you bitch? Oh, well, anyway, I'm sorry about last night. My dad had a little too much to drink. You see, he's been lonely ever since Mom died, and, well, I forgot to tell you about his condition. Besides, the doctor said it wouldn't leave a permanent scar. Uh, excuse me? Thelma? Uh, no, no, this isn't Thelma. Thank God. This isn't Thelma Rogowski? No, no, this is, this is Madeline Moon, Voice of the Stars. But wait, I can help analyze this situation. You're a Sagittarius, aren't you? Why, yes, I am. Uh, figures. We're out of time, folks. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, tune in next time for another chance to be moon. Hi, I'm here live in the kitchens in our studios. Today we have a special report about foods in our classrooms. So with us today we have Mrs. Paul, a, a great foods teacher. Um, how are you today, Mrs. Paul? Fine. Well, then let's get on with it. <clears throat> um, I see you brought some things with you. What is this one? This one is, one of my students made this from one of my cooking classes. They had to invent their own dish. This is, okay, this is anchovy pizza. All my, I encourage all my students to be creative because, well, creative it is. And on to the next one. Was this an invention too? Yes. This is from my advanced cooking course. This was from one of my best students. We call it Chili Surprise. Would you like to try some? Uh, no, thanks. I'm not that hungry. Go ahead, just a bite. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> oh, it's great. Um, <coughs> just great. Thanks. Um, well, that about wraps it up for today. Um, be sure to tune in tomorrow for some more great recipes. <coughs> That's thanks. We'd like to thank Mrs. Paul for coming today. Um, back to you, Bart. <coughs> Get your pizza for me up here. Okay. Mitch, oh, you're going to be the pizza. Take a spot. Mitch. On behalf of Channel 5 Action News, I'm Bart McConnell, wishing you all a pleasant future and good evening. Ah, oh, Jesus, who got one? Mitch! Mitch!